Okay, for our first example, let's start by writing our balanced equation. So we have barium hydroxide reacting with HCl to make barium chloride and water. So we'll balance that with a 2 and a 2. So I'm going to start by finding the moles of barium hydroxide. I'm going to take its molarity and multiply it by its liters. Okay, be sure you're in liters. So that will be 0 0.00505 moles of my barium hydroxide. And then I can go ahead and do a mole ratio. So moles of barium hydroxide to moles of our HCl. That's a 2 to 1 ratio. So that's going to give us 0 0.0101 .01 moles of our HCl. Since molarity is moles over liters, liters is moles over molarity. So we'll take our moles and divide by our liters. I'm sorry, divide by our molarity, which is 0.12 molar. And that will give us 0 0.0842 liters. So if we multiply by 1,000 milliliters per liter, we'll see that we need 84.2 milliliters. In our second example, again, let's always start with a balanced equation so we'll know what our mole ratio is. So H2SO4 plus NaOH is going to give us sodium sulfate and water. Okay, again, we'll go ahead and balance this with a couple twos. In this case, we're starting with 0.2 grams of sodium hydroxide. So we can go ahead and change grams to moles. And then we can do a mole ratio. Okay, so grams of NaOH to moles of NaOH. And then we'll change moles of NaOH to moles of what we're looking for, which is the H2SO4. The ratio is 1 to 2, and NaOH has a molar mass of 40. So this is going to be 0 0.00250 moles of our H2SO4. Again, let's go ahead and divide by our molarity, 0.125 molar. And that will get us our liters, 0 0.0200 liters, multiply by 1,000. And that will give us 20.0 milliliters. Okay, so our next example, we've got barium chloride reacting with sodium sulfate. So that's going to make some barium sulfate and two moles of sodium chloride. So we're starting with 752 milligrams of our sodium sulfate. So let's change milligrams to grams and then grams to moles, okay. and then we can change our moles of sodium sulfate to moles of what we're looking for, which is our barium chloride. Okay, so 1 over 1,000. Our molar mass is 142.05. The ratio is 1 to 1. So this will give us 0 0.00529 moles of our barium chloride. So if we divide by our liters, we'll get our molarity. 0 0.558 liters. So that will give us a molarity of 0 0.0949 molar. Okay, so for our final example, we've got HCl reacting with calcium hydroxide. It's going to make calcium chloride and H2O. We'll balance that with a 2 and a 2. Okay, 
And so in this case, we've got the molarity and the volume. So let's go ahead and multiply those to find the moles. Make sure you're in liters. Okay, so that'll be 0 0.00888 moles of HCl. Okay, we'll do a mole ratio. We'll go ahead and convert moles of HCl to moles of our calcium hydroxide. That ratio is 1 to 2. And then one more step. We'll go ahead and change moles to grams for our calcium hydroxide, which is 74.10. And we'll see that that will be 0.329 grams of our calcium hydroxide.